see that? Nice and steep part. That's where we're headed. Get some mountain sprints in. Get ready. You can't do this in the weight room. The ground's uneven, your ankles are at different angles. You just have to keep charging up. Legs just fill up. This gives you that extra strength and endurance. So everyone says, what do I gotta do? I wanna play college, I wanna do this. I said, I wanna make it to the NBA. So I went and ran a mountain every day and transform me, so. So one of the biggest things I've been working on for just my overall health and especially basketball with my hips. So I started doing martial arts. I've been doing a lot of pool workout. I do a lot of stretching with my hips. Just because when the hips are open and loose, your knees are better in balance and your ankles are better in balance and it avoids you know, injuries. I tore my ACL about seven years ago. So I've been doing pool workouts ever since. Like the mountain was like a burst of just your quads fill up. It's strenuous, it's hard, and then I come in here, follow up, and it's more of working out that soreness, getting movement, and also getting some cardio in. So the pool is great because it's half my body weight. You still get the same movement, but without all the weight and the pounding. This was my secret weapon for my ACL. Because I come in here, when the doctor said I could start jogging, I come in the pool and jog at 50%, and then 75%, and then 100% in the pool, and then I go on the ground and do 50%, 75%, 100%. And I did that for each phase of my rehab. So, and that's why I was able to come back in like five and a half months. Working on my James Harden Euro step. Monkey crawl from this end down to the other. It's the core, shoulders. I like to train the breath. If I'm, I'm stressed, right, or I'm panicked, the breath controls our emotions, controls our physiology, it tells us what to think. So I love to panic my breath and learn to figure it out. Because in games, so I do martial arts, you get tired, you get hit, you gotta be able to figure it out, and the breath is the key to its composure. Uh, this is super important for people to understand. With health, if you're always trying to quit things, you won't get very far. So I always say it's sub subtraction by addition. Seven years ago, I tore my knee. I need to be more healthy. So the way I approached it is I just started adding good things into my life, one thing at a time. Because what happens is when people think of healthy, they think of diets. They think of all the things they're going to have to quit and they get frustrated they get a negative association with being healthy and so instead of trying to say i gotta quit this and this you don't have to quit anything you just have to start doing something so that's the message for everyone just start doing something don't worry about quitting because as you do something if i have a green smoothie every day my identity is that much closer to a healthy person and when your identity raises so do your standards so do your priorities and before you know it, the things you used to do, you will no longer want to do. All through less resistance and frustration. So keep it simple, focus on what you're going to do instead of what you shouldn't do. And with time, the stuff you used to think you could never quit, you won't even care about. And that's, I'm a prime example of that. I used to eat so much candy. Freshman year in college, on the road, we, I'd be eating candy before games. I love candy. I used to eat like half a cake for my birthday but I don't want that stuff anymore because it doesn't fit my identity and lifestyle anymore. So, there you go. Hey buddy. Smoothie time. It's 
two raw duck eggs. Rocky style. So we got the base. We're, I'm gonna go with coconut milk today. Coconut, almond milk, or hemp milk. Go about six to eight ounces. Stock farms. It's a pleasant growth. Load up on my greens. Simple way to get greens. I load up, as you can tell. Blueberries, I love blueberries. They don't spike your insulin. Keeps you running on your fat for energy. So everything I have in here, nothing's gonna spike my insulin. Especially for people that, you know, do more of a 95 and sit more. This is so important because this won't spike your insulin. Because when you spike your insulin, you start to become perpetually hungry all the time because you need to be running off glucose. Once that burn, you need more glucose and more and more and more. So if you get a bunch of good healthy fats and greens and run off blueberries and stuff, then you can run off this for a while and you run off your fat for energy. So coconut oil, good flavor, more good fats. <coughs> chocolate collagen. It's for both Shay and I, so I'm gonna put Three scoops. And then last but not certainly least, beef liver. Beef liver <clears throat> doesn't taste very good. It's hard to make, very inconvenient. So we created a convenient way and a very efficient way to get five grams of nature's best multivitamin. So add it in and it blends right in and there you know it's there. So that's the smoothie. Base of coconut milk, two raw duck eggs, some coconut oil, a bunch of greens, collagen, chocolate protein, avocado, blueberries, and grass-fed beef liver powder. From Worth Fitness. To start your day, I always say, you know, exercise and physical-wise, you know, win the morning, win the day, but also you win the first meal of the day. The very first thing you have sets the taste for the day, I always say. So if you're having sugary foods, toast, Jam, all that, it sets the taste for the day. Then your taste beds want more of that same kind of sugary type food. But if you start out with this, which is also really tasty, then you know you win the first meal of the day and it makes it that much easier to win the next. Mm. <laughs> Basketball workout in 45 minutes, so. Hang out a little bit, get changed, gather my things, drink this, and get ready to head over. Let's put these on. So the biggest thing with my morning routine, everybody has their own way of doing it, but I just want to feel, feel myself with gratitude. So I like to write things I'm grateful for. I like to spiritually get in the scriptures. I just like to spend some time just thinking and just staying grateful. Coco, <laughs> happy dog. You got some exercise too. Another thing I love is I remind myself like I don't have to do any of this stuff. I want to do this because I feel like people put so much pressure. Like I need to, I need to. And then again, it's same like I said earlier. You create a negative association. Like I don't need to do this. I want to do this because I have these goals and I get to do this. But I just started going up the mountain, sprinting up, walking up, and just up top, pretty high in the mountain. I was meditating, visualize me being in the NBA in that following year I made it. Making it to the Mavs. Dirk being my favorite player and then, you know, I get my shot at the NBA playing with Dirk on my favorite team. Dirk's hilarious. Like he would put dumbbells in guys' suitcases when we traveled, so it was like people would like get their suitcase and be like, what the heck, why is it so heavy? If he sees me post something on Twitter, he'll say something like, hey, I'm following your stuff and I'm still fat. Like, your stuff is trash and stuff like that. Or your tomorrow. martial arts today. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I curse sometimes. Especially when I get in the zone sometimes, college just, it just goes.
Taco salad. So I'm gonna get some hamburger from actually from my parents, cows and butcher shop, San Pedro Butchery, with some beans, and then I'm gonna add some greens and make a taco salad. Super simple to make, but you get you know your greens in there and you get your protein. I'm gonna add some avocado and some some cheese for some fat and probably either a little probably salsa. Or what I'll add. Cook this about 90% of the way. Then we're gonna add some black beans right here. And then we are going to get some greens, put in a bowl of the greens, and then we're gonna put the mean beans on top, add salsa, some cheese, and make a meal. And like I said, I love this because it's so fast to make. Chipotle flavor got seasonings. It's great. There's only onions, garlic, sea salt, chipotle, chili, pepper powder. Just all clean ingredients, there's nothing bad in it. So I always use Flavor God, we have a bunch of these. So just add this in early so that it makes it better. So as much as I can, I get, try to get things and add them in the smoothie this morning. So, I always tell people if you follow me on Twitter. So we just ran some mountain sprints, we did a pool workout, um, and then we did a big basketball workout. So a lot, a lot of stuff on the body. It's pretty taxing, but I always say reward yourself with good for doing good. And what I mean by that is like, if you're gonna go out and work out and bust your butt, like give yourself some good nutrients that complement what you did, that add to the what you just did, instead of going and eating like a milkshake or some fast food. So one of my themes for life is reward yourself with good for doing good. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I did a whole lot of good this morning. Worked out, pushed myself, sweated a lot, moved a lot, and now I'm gonna reward myself with some more good. So this would be like a five minute meal. This is. This is already, just scoop this on top when it's done. This takes about five minutes and then add avocado to it, add some blue cheese. Julian's up right now, the baby's up. Ready to eat, like me. So yeah, so this is a five minute meal and it's a nutrient dense meal. And it's, I'll have it a few times a week, so I love it. Take it, add it, top as much as you want. I'm gonna eat a lot. This is my technically my first meal of the day minus the smoothie, which had a lot of stuff in it, but I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna have half an avocado. Get some good fats. I'm gonna have some whole milk again, fat, some good fats. I always like whole milk with yogurt. This is a good, good brand kind of treat it like sour cream in a sense for this. Some blue cheese. Last but not least, taco salad. It's my five minute meal. 
It's got hamburger, it's got black beans, it's got avocados, blue cheese, some whole milk yogurt, and a bunch of greens in there. It took five minutes, and it's fueled me up for my three workouts this morning. So, the company's called the Rapid Reboot, so it's compression, they'll get really tight. The cool thing is I can control it all from my phone. This. There, so now I can eat, hydrate up, watch TV, hang out. Usually Shay will be here. The baby and the baby will hang out, but it's just cocoa nice today, so I'll just eat, hang out. So this is the last recovery session of my day and the last thing that I do. So it's noon. I've got three workouts in, I made a smoothie, I had my meal, and I'm hitting the last part of my recovery, and I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Alright, let's go throw some kicks and get kicked. Fun part of the day, most challenging, probably martial arts. Just the whole aspect of you know, the sparring part. You're going against fourth degree black belts and sometimes it can go bad for you. <laughs> it's important for me in life to become a white belt again. Just to go in areas where I don't know anything and if I do know something is very little and just keep progressing. I've been coming here for two years. And I love it. Well, I definitely recommend getting into martial arts. What up, Bob? Tiger snow. That's that game with the ropes. Exhausting. Most people are still asleep and I'm trying to protect my, my face from getting kicked. Good switch, feet. play some pickup with some of the BYU boys that are playing professional. Eric Mika, Yoli Childs, Jake Toulson, I think TJ Haas will be there. So that's where we're headed now. He knew you were coming today so he wore all his USA gear and let everyone know he's good. Dan the Life of Kyle Collinsworth, 
great guy, works hard. Not as hard as me, but works pretty hard. I actually don't give two cents in this video, so anything that I'm in, I'm either blurred or I'm not in it at all. That's my favorite part of pickup is just trash talk. I love to just talk smack. I grew up with two other brothers and all their friends, and I just learned at a young age just to not back down. So just talk smack all day long. And we won. We won today. Most important. I hate losing. Pickup is like the most underrated thing for hoopers to do. Like college guys should be seeking to play with pros. High school kids should be seeking to play with college guys any chance you get. I remember my freshman year and senior in high school, I'd come play at BYU, and there was Mark Madsen, Ronnie Price, Mike Hall, all those guys were there. And I remember, I remember bringing the ball up, and I turned, and Ronnie Price, who played in the NBA for 10 plus years, was like picking me up full court, and I couldn't pass the free throw line. I was like 17 years old, and I was like, Oh my goodness, like I've never experienced that. But that was like the best thing for me because I spent the next month like working on ball handling, working on dealing with pressure. So always play up. <laughs> Everyone's like, Kyle, what, what stuff do you do for for lifting and for and I lift and do a lot, but the best way is just to play. So we try to play as much because you can't simulate taking the contact, separating the defensive moves to close out the jumping. So for me I try to play as much as I can for cardio. It's the best way to rep you pay. So thanks for checking out Day in the Life of me, Kyle Collinsworth. Hope you liked it. Have a great day.